Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Carvajal. I'm a strategic partner manager at YouTube and I work with Latin artists as part of the artist development team. So I'm doing this as a work diary so that, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions as to, okay, great. I shared a little bit about my journey of how I got to this role, but what does the role really entail on a day-to-day -day basis? And the exciting thing is that it could be very different depending on what's going on, what projects are going on, what programs we're launching, what campaigns we're running. Um, but really at the gist of it, like I've mentioned before, as a strategic partner manager, you are your partners. In this case, your artists advocate internally at the company. And so that entails a lot of things. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I do have a lot of phone calls. I schedule meetings, um, especially now that we're working from home, most, all of them are virtual. Before we used to have some in person, but for the most part, we have a lot of video conference calls, phone calls, and obviously we communicate constantly via email. Um, the topics that we cover for the most part are content strategy, right? So best practices for your channel, what you should be doing, what are some of the features that as an artist, you should really be considering and taking into account as your release strategy and marketing strategy and how to really use and leverage YouTube as a tool for you as an artist. Um, so that, once again, is very broad, right? What does that really mean on a day-to-day -day basis? That means we talk about release schedules, right? When is the music being released? When is it planned for? What features will we be using? As many of you know, there's this feature called premieres that you can set a date and time so that your audience is able to share that moment of release and you guys can engage. And the idea is that the link of the video exists beforehand so that people can promote it widely all over their socials and that link already exists so that users can go in, can interact, can chat, can leave a comment and even set a reminder for the date and time where the music video or content will go live. So that's just one example of what we talk about. We also talk about the use of the community tab. For those of you that don't know, that's more of the social element on the channel. So you can post other formats besides video on the community tab. You can share pictures, GIFs, text, polls, you name it. Um, you could also share videos, um, whether that's videos directly on your channel or other channels, or whether it's exclusive content directly for that community tab, that's also um, a possibility. So we really talk about, you know, once again, the scheduling of your releases, what that programming looks like, what's that cadence going to be, how we're creating content pieces for the community tab in addition to the videos and what that strategy looks like. We also talk about what are some of the content formats that you're maybe already making or potentially you're not considering. And so I try to be a trusted advisor. You know, I'm not, I'm not influencing too much the creative side of things, but I'm definitely a trusted advisor so that you guys, you know, my partners have the ability to run ideas by me, brainstorm with me and, and really have any other questions answered about YouTube, about our features. We have so many other features such as stories, the comments, um, once again, community, premieres, you know, all these things, playlists, the metadata, you know, how the algorithm works, YouTube analytics, artist analytics. These are all topics and things that I ensure that my partners feel comfortable with and that know how to really utilize them, you know? Um, so that's really what we cover on a phone call for the most part. In addition to that, you know, we, we cover, you know, some brainstorming ideas. They'll run ideas by me and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I have seen an artist do this or that. It's a bit different, but maybe you can try this. Or you know what, actually, I've never heard of that being tried. That's amazing, you know? Um, so right now we have a beta still going on where people, you know, you can do a live stream before your premiere. And we integrate that with the premiere so that it redirects directly into the premiere. So that's something that's in beta and that a lot of our partners are, are giving a try right now. And it's really cool for engagement. Um, that's a whole other topic, right? That we also talk about. Are you doing live streams? How do you feel about live streams? You know, how to plan that out? 
Is it going to be something on the mobile? Is it going to be something on the webcam? Or is it going to be something much more complex as a super production where you're going to need encoders and you're going to have various signals and audios and, and more, you know, the editing behind it. So these are all topics that I would support my partners with. And so who are my partners? I would say right now at the moment, um, we try to support, you know, as many people that we can. I work with artist management teams. I also work with labels who manage artist channels um, for YouTube. So that could vary. I talk to social media managers. I talk to the marketing, their digital person. It just varies artist to artist. But the idea at the end of the day is that everyone who needs the information and wants to have this information has that access to us and all of the resources to be successful on YouTube. So that's very broad. I think that that covers in general what we talk about, what we do. Um, to be more specific, kind of what my day to day has been the past week and this week, you know, there's a lot of other things that go on simultaneously. Um, we have a lot of team meetings, obviously, with the wider teams, right, with the Americas teams. Sometimes we have global team meetings. Um, then we have LATAM specific team meetings. We have cross functional team meetings. Oh, this got a little bit dark. So this is my little workstation I have going on from home. Just for lighting. Um, and basically, you know, we also have cross-functional team meetings where we meet with marketing, social, programming, other, you know, content partnerships teams, and really work together on a project for the region, for example. Right now we have broadcasts going on and it's being planned. And so we're taking into account what creators should be a part of it, um, what artists should be invited, you know, who's gonna have a performance, who's gonna be part of a panel, and they're all going to interact with some of our top Google sales clients. So that's a pretty cool project that goes on. Obviously now everything's virtual, so that's a whole new challenge. Um, but we, we fit into that and we help with that. Something else going on this week, um, I supported the Familia Ad Summit. It's our Latinx ERG at YouTube, which I helped co-found and start. So I'm very happy that we have these ongoing summits and to see the membership grow so much. Um, I helped coordinate a lot of the Red Talks, so I didn't give them myself, but I did um, help with the people that volunteered to give Red Talks. I gave them feedback. Um, help to answer any questions and just help with the logistics of the event a little bit. Um, today I also moderated a panel with our chief business officer, Robert Kinzel, and his wife and psychologist, um, Luz Kinzel. So that was also great. It was a chat about well-being. So those are things that are in addition to my core role that really make, you know, working at YouTube a great experience. Other things, you know, I had a call with a partner precisely today um, someone at the label where we spoke about several artist channels that that is part of their label and we had channel business plans where we review a lot of the features that I mentioned and make sure that they're taking that into account in the strategy for the channel. You know, they kind of give me an update of what are their plans, what are some release plans, what's going on, um, what we can expect so that I have an idea and, and kind of prepare us to how can we best support and then we did an overview of artist analytics, which is, you know, their performance in the last, you know, 90 days or so. Um, and just get a good sense of what their watch time is like, their subscriber growth, what are their traffic sources, just all of the different things that they should be keeping in mind. So that was a part of my day. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, I think that's that's a good that's a good wrap up. But I think I hope this was helpful and it was able to provide some insight as to some of some of the other things that as a strategic partner manager we have to do.